so we begin with bringing our awareness to the body part of bile. And some of these parts may, in the very beginning here, may be the first time of introducing these characteristics of these parts. Sometimes it can be a little harder to feel into them as in comparison to like head hair. But we do with when I when I bring up the characteristics and we sit with the practice of it, what is evoked? So first let's hear what is bile? So the color of bile is a straw color from the liver and yellow, brown, or green colors from the gallbladder. It's shaped like thick fluid, similar to like a car oil. Its direction is above and below the waist. It is stored in the gallbladder. It's bordered by the digestive and elimination organs. And it comes from the secretion of the liver. The function of bile is it is a digestive juice with an emulsifying action that facilitates digestion of fats in the intestines. The human liver can produce close to one liter of bile per day. The Greeks, often spoke about excessive bile produced an aggressive temperament. Depression and other mental illnesses such as melancholia are ascribed to a bodily surplus of black bile. This is the origin of the word melancholy. So being with this body part bile, just noticing what arises, it can be pleasant, unpleasant, or neither a memory, a sensation, meeting whatever arises with curiosity and genuine kindness. This is bile.
And then we'll move our awareness to phlegm, a body part of phlegm. The color of phlegm when it's healthy is clear or white. Yellow phlegm is normally a sign of an infection in the case of a common cold. Green or brownish phlegm is nearly always a sign of infection. The greenish or rusty phlegm or phlegm with rusty spots can also be a sign of pneumonia or internal microbleeding. The sh shape of phlegm is a thick fluid. It's directed above the waist. It's located in the lungs, in the throat, and in the mouth. It's bordered by the lungs, throat, and mouth. The definition of phlegm is a thick, sticky fluid mucus from the respiratory passages. So the function is that phlegm is produced by the respiratory system and particularly expelled by coughing. Its composition varies depending on climate, genetic and state of the immune system. But basically it's a water-based gel containing glycoproteins, immunoglobulins and lipids. Wow, phlegm. Sometimes these parts are more than what we think they are. So what arises as we bring this felt sensation or a memory, what evokes as we sit with phlegm? Bringing curiosity, kindness, interest. Phlegm.
And now shifting to pus. So the color of pus can be yellow or red. It could be red pus from the rupture of small blood cells and blood vessels. Um, even bluish green from the rupture of those small blood vessels. The shape is pus is, has been walled off by a membrane and that's called an abscess. Its direction is above and below the waist. It's located anywhere in the body. It's bordered by whatever is next to it in the body. And pus is actually the definition is a protein rich liquid. It's produced during inflammation with white blood cells. And the function is that it's a liquid byproduct of inflammation. So whatever our previous thoughts about pus could have been or our relationship with it, this body part is actually a protein rich liquid. So pus. What well, arises when we just open to, curious about pus. And now shifting our awareness to blood. The color of blood is from dark to bright red. It's a thin liquid. It's above and below the waist. It's located in the heart, the arteries, the veins, the capillaries. It's throughout the whole body. And the definition of blood is that it is a fluid that circulates throughout the heart arteries, veins, capillaries, carrying nourishment 
carrying electrolytes, hormones, vitamins, antibodies, carries heat and oxygen to the tissues, and takes away waste matter and carbon dioxide. There is also menstrual blood. Blood consists of 22% solids and 78% liquid. Red blood cells are formed at the rate of 2 million per second. Within a tiny droplet of blood, there are 5 million red blood cells, 300,000 platelets, and 10,000 white cells. Whew. The human body contains from eight to 10 pints of blood. Every inch of human skin consists of 20 feet of blood vessels. I'm gonna say that again. Every inch of human skin consists of 20 feet of blood vessels. The function is in passing through the lungs, the blood gives up carbon dioxide and it absorbs oxygen. After leaving the heart, it is carried to the tissues as arterial blood and then returned to the heart in the venous system. Blood moves through the circuit of the vascular system in about 60 seconds. The plasma transports all those nutrients, waste products, hormones, carbon dioxide, and other substances and contributes to the fluid electrolyte balance and thermal regulation. Human blood travels 600,000 miles per day through the body. This is 2,500 miles an hour, which is about where we've been right now. So this is the blood moving through the body, bringing our awareness to this body part, blood. Noting what arises, feeling into this body part of blood.
And now we'll move to sweat, the body part of sweat. The color is colorless. It's slightly milky, it's a salty fluid. It's shaped like water. Its direction is above and below the waist. Its location is on the outer skin anywhere in the body. It's bordered by what's under the skin and space. Definition of sweat is this salty and watery secretion come from glands in the skin pores. And the function is that sweat cools the body by evaporation and rids it of what waste may be expressed through the pores of the skin. The daily amount is about a liter, although it can change according to physical activity and atmospheric conditions. In hot conditions, there may be as much as two and a half to four and a half gallons in 24 hours. There are two kinds of sweat. There's the smelly, such as the feet, the groin, the armpit, and the non-smelly, which are other parts of the body. So if we're really moving our bodies, think of that two and a half to four and a half gallons of sweat. Wow. So this colorless, slightly milky, salty fluid that really cools the body and again, rids the body of waste. So this is the body part of sweat.
And then the final part that will bring our awareness to this day is fat. So the color of fat is yellow, shaped like globs of fat. It's above and below the waist. It's located anywhere in the body. It's bordered by the skin, the flesh, and the sinews. The definition of fat is that it is a stored substance contained within fat cells throughout the body. And the function is the most important function of fats is a form of stored or potential energy. It also serves to insulate us from the external temperature, especially the cold. So fat, what evokes when we are just bringing our awareness to this body part? Fat could be stories, thoughts, memories, sensations. Welcoming all of it, this fathom long body of fat that is present here. Meaning whatever arises again with curiosity and with kindness, not judgment, fat.
So these are the parts this week. The liquids parts that are just as the what we often experience the outside world the water the liquid is also within the integration of the element of water of liquid bio phlegm pus blood sweat fat so being with all that is evoked as the buddha had stated that this is our fathom long body and within this body is all of our thoughts and emotions, memories. It is both personal and impersonal. Each one of us will be aware of and be intimate with the felt sensation or even the thoughts and the memories. Some of it might be ugh, just a, a guttural reaction of unpleasant. Some of it may be, I don't even know what that, what that is or where that is, what that feels like. And so then there's this curiosity that could be cultivated. Whatever that arises and continues to be evoked, just knowing, being with what is, a gentleness with a kindness. I'm breathing in and breathing out with such deep compassion for these parts. Some the functions, the care, the work that they do to keep everything going. And compassion and kindness to your own heart for your effort, for the energy and practicing in this way. The great courage to turn towards what seemingly is an unple unpleasant at first. This interconnection with each of us in this Sangha, each of us have these parts as human beings, as having bodies. There's blood and there's sweat, there's fat, there's bile, there's phlegm, there's pus. So extending this, Compassion and kindness to everyone here in our global Sangha. And then beyond this Sangha, to all beings, the human beings, the non-human beings, even beings such as I have a feline here, here with me, and that being has her own parts. And so all beings have these various parts in different ways. May all beings in this moment know kindness, know compassion. To care with whatever arises in this moment. Meeting it with heart, mind, Pausing. Allowing. Breathing.
and knowing this liquidity that flows through all of life. Each and every one of us experiences. And may each and every one of us meet what arises in that flow with, again, that deep curiosity and kindness 